welcome to your August 2017 love forecast. Thank you guys for joining me today. I'm the good, the bad, and the tarot, and I'm here to give you your love reading for August. Uh, you guys are at the second to last sign I'm reading for this month, and if you would like to go first next month, be sure to like your reading, whether it's your sun sign, your moon sign, or your rising sign, whatever you're watching, that does ensure that I get your reading out first next month. Um, so I just have like two really quick things I want to mention that are happening happening astrologically. One is coming up soon. We have a full moon lunar eclipse, partial lunar eclipse on August the 7th in Aquarius. Okay, in uh, air sign Aquarius. And then we are also having a total solar eclipse in Leo at the end of August on the 21st, followed by another new moon in Leo. We just had one on the 23rd of July. So some really big uh, stuff happening this month. Um, for those of you who are into the astrology of August, and uh, we also have uh, plenty of planets still in retrograde. Saturn, Saturn is still in retrograde and will be until uh, on or around near that solar eclipse. So it's a, it's a pretty big month. Um, there's a lot going on, a lot happening. I feel that the overall theme is one of letting go and of letting uh, things happen. Uh, you know, eclipse season is all about um, the universe uh, generally taking from us the things that are no longer relevant in our lives, that are no longer moving us forward to make way for the new. Make way for newer, better things. And that does require us to trust and to have faith and continue to stay optimistic throughout this process as well as to stay grounded. So tarot is a great way for us to uh, look at the month ahead and kind of get an overview. And my forecasts do take place over 30 days, so that's how long <clears throat> excuse me, it takes for things to kind of develop. Uh, so when you're looking at my reading, think about it as uh, over the course of the month. Now for your reading today, I have selected two decks. One is a very new deck. Uh, it is the Bonefire Tarot by Gabby Angus West. If you would like to purchase this deck, I have listed the links for both of these decks below in the description. And the other uh, message that I will be pulling today is from the Rumi Oracle. And uh, the Rumi Oracle is also available on Amazon if you're interested in purchasing that. Um, amazing, exquisite messages from Rumi and from Alana Fairchild, who is the author uh, of the deck. So I will be using these two decks in conjunction with each other. Um, mainly this oracle message at the end is an extended message, so you want to save about five to ten minutes to listen to that. Um, if you can't listen to the whole reading or you don't have time, um, do pause it and come back because the oracle message really helps clarify and tie together the whole reading as well as offer spiritual guidance for you moving forward. So with that being said, let us get started on your reading, Virgo. Spirit, this is a love forecast for all my Virgo suns, moons, risings, and those on the cusp that may be watching. Spirit, what are the most important messages and energies that you have for the sign of Virgo? For the month of, ah, for the month of August 2017, this is their love forecast. <clears throat> what does Virgo need to know, Spirit? What are the most important messages and energies that you have for my Virgo suns, Virgo moons, Virgo risings, and those on the cusp that may be watching? What does Virgo need to know, Spirit? Concerning their love lives. For the month of August 2017, this is their love forecast. Please help guide them. For all my Virgo sons and these great things and those on the cusp that may be watching, what does Virgo need to know, Spirit? I'm going to do one more for posterity. For posterity, like that. And prosperity. So this is going to be a 10 card Celtic cross reading. And your outcome card, go right there. At the bottom of the deck, I have the Five of Swords. Okay. So the Five of Swords often does talk about conflict of some kind. It can be a battle of wills, 
a battle of words. Um, one that doesn't produce a winner necessarily. You may feel that you are winning an argument, but really both parties are uh, becoming defeated by the argument itself. So it's a situation that produces no real, real winners. And as you can see, this is a nasty brawl here involving two men and a woman who wants nothing to do with it. All right, so there could be some fighting, there could be some arguments. You may be involved with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Let's take a look. We have the sun. So, uh, you know, um, well, the sun is in Leo right now, and uh, the uh, sun card often does for me represent Leo or sometimes Aries, but uh, for me it represents Leo. And it represents clarity and happiness. So it could be... Um, this is a positive message, this Five of Swords. I, I rarely do see it as a positive message, but as an underlying theme or, theme or challenge of your reading is be careful of, of conflicts, baseless conflicts, one-upmanship. Um, make sure what you're fighting for isn't just out of self-interest um, because the Five of Swords can indicate petty arguments and strife, okay? so. Uh, be aware of that going into this month and yes we already I'm aware that we're in already started and not we're already into August here so uh, but this is the underlying theme or challenge of your reading let's take a look at your cards wheel of fortune in reverse the devil what comes below you is the six of swords in reverse your thoughts and feelings are the nine of wands your recent past is the Queen of Wands in reverse. Your near future is the Two of Wands in reverse. How you see yourself, you have the Ten of Swords in reverse. In your environment, this is also how your significant other or the person you think about the most may be viewing you or dealing with you. Ace of Cups in reverse. Hopes and fears, justice in reverse. And your outcome for the month of August the star and it is reversed okay so do not be alarmed by reversals and um, like I said this is a very big month and reversals are simply uh, the other half of the alphabet for me in terms of vocabulary they can sometimes indicate that the full energy of that card is a block uh, there could be blocked energy um, there could be uh, it's also, there's just different messages coming up when a card is reversed that's not necessarily negative. In fact, some cards are positive when they're more positive when they're reversed. So, please uh, do not uh, freak out if you see uh, reversals in my readings. I use and read them frequently, and it's just like uh, another letter in the alphabet, okay? It doesn't have any greater or lesser meaning. It just changes the meaning of the card. So we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. This is what you walk into August with. Okay, so this this can mean that for some of you Virgos, um, you may find yourself in situations, okay, this month, where maybe you're not lucking out, okay? Things may not be happening exactly as you would like. You may want some situation to move forward faster, quicker, better, stronger. And it's not, okay, because the Wheel of Fortune reverses uh, ongoing setbacks and delays and sometimes misfortune. It can also say that you're in a situation that is just not uh, going to drop you in the lap of your destiny. You may be pushing and pushing and pushing for something to work, for something to happen. But uh, you're going to feel in your gut that it's probably not right or the timing is not right, okay? Now, this card will eventually write itself, all right? So just because you're at the bottom of the wheel doesn't mean that you won't rise to the top. It's just saying that this is not a month for you to gamble. It's not a month for you to um, push, try and push something through in, in terms of relationship or commitment or um, it may not even be a great month for you to go out there and uh, entertain new relationships or even jump into one. And I'm also seeing that what is crossing you here as your uh, a challenge and or something that is helping or hindering you here is the devil. And it is in reverse. So I do like the devil better in reverse. It's about breaking agreements. 
It's about getting out of uh, unhealthy, toxic relationships. It's also by, about saying goodbye to the devil and, and denouncing him, denouncing that energy, which is the evil, toxic energy. And it can talk about addictions. It can talk about unhealthy uh, sexual, physical addictions, uh, drug addictions, codependent relationships, and all of that jazz. So this seems to be your challenge is to let go of uh, relationships that are toxic, uh, relationships that are just based in sex, that have nothing to do with, it's just for fun, it's just, I mean, don't get me wrong, uh, the devil upright can sometimes indicate fun sexual encounters and enjoying the, the wilder parts of yourself and getting into your body. But most often, especially with reverse in a challenge position, it's indicating that this is a challenge for you this month, or this is what's going to help you, is to break yourself free from anything that is limiting you, giving you negative energy, bringing you down, chaining you, uh, making you feel bound, uh, that's unhealthy, that feels unhealthy. And uh, as you approach this, uh, as you go around the wheel here, you know, and you feel, uh, that you're not winning, you're not, you're not uh, striking gold here, not to turn to those addictions as a fallback measure, okay? So, in the foundation of your reading, we have the Six of Swords in reverse, okay? So, some of you are feeling stuck, all right? You're not able to move forward, you're not able to move backwards. In fact, a lot of you may be mentally stuck in the past, okay? The feeling is like treading water. You're not, you're neither here nor they are there, and the root of this issue has to do with psychological healing, okay? Some of you have not healed psychologically from some trauma in the past. It could be going back to your childhood, it could go, be going back to last month, it could be going back to months before that. But this is a pretty serious card here, and it's saying that you want to address these issues, they're mental issues, um, for a very, very few number of you, it could be that uh, you would like to move and you aren't able to at this time, you would like to move forward, but you can't. So like in, in that sense, an, an actual move, it's saying the timing isn't right for that. But um, what I'm seeing here is that some of you are simply unable to leave the past in the past. And as much as you'd like to force your luck this month, it ain't happening. It's not a good month for it, not to gamble, not to push for things uh, that you might really want very badly. Um, and uh, I'm seeing that uh, you really do need to release yourself from any kind of toxic relationships and kind of clear, clear out the mental clutter, um, figure out what you need to do in order to heal from your past. In the past, I am seeing a fire sign female. Leo Aries Sagittarius. When she's reversed, there are issues, unless I am reading strictly for Sagittarius or an Aries female. If I'm reading for someone who is uh, Leo in their charts, um, or fire sign, moon, or rising, then this may or may not apply. When the Queen of Wands in general is in reverse, this is someone who can be a bit of a wallflower. They may be overly dramatic. They may be mean. They may be spiteful. They may be involved in black magic. Uh, this could be a female who um, is catty, moody, um, attention, whoring, uh, mean, like the mean girl in the class, um, snarky, rude, all of the above, right? So, but if this is a, a Sagittarius or an Aries, pure and simple, then disregard what I just said. And this is someone who is a fire sign a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius, and um, I'm not reading for a rising sign here or a moon sign. I'm reading for just a straight Sag woman or a Sag man, or I'm reading for a straight, uh, not straight as in uh, sexually straight, but um, I'm not reading for a Leo in that case. I'm just reading for a pure Sagittarius or a pure Aries here, um, seen in the card's reversal. Please, um, let me know in the comments, but I am seeing fire sign energy in the past. Generally speaking, um, if this is a Leo or you have Leo in your charts, um, you may have a, a, a moon or a rising Leo sign, and all of the um, qualities that I mentioned do not apply in terms of if this is 
if you are not a pure Leo. Um, so moving forward with that a bit of confusing nonsense, I still feel like this is someone that you know, or this is an aspect of your personality um, that was uh, dimmed down, uh, creatively blocked, or um, you know, struggling, and, and perhaps a feeling uh, a little bit. How do I say it? Um, passed over, like like someone snubbed you. Yes, that's kind of the feeling that I'm getting. <laughs> or maybe they feel snubbed by you. And your thoughts and feelings, you have the Nine of Wands. So this is what you'd like to manifest this month. Okay. So you'd like to hang on to what you have and push through. You want to fight. You don't want to give up. But clearly it's not going to be easy here because you're already feeling the Nine of Wands, which is one away from a ten, which is in the uh, Thoth Tarot, Oppression. So you're very close to burning yourself out, Virgo, and you've ex been expending, uh, you're feeling it right now, you're going to be feeling it. Um, I'm seeing wounds here, okay, so you have been hurt, but you are um, going to continue climbing and climbing, it seems like, out of this cave that you've maybe found yourself in. Alright, so fire energy here. Um, we are in a fire sign month, so this is how it's aspecting you. What I see happening for you in the middle of August, we have the two of wands in reverse. Okay. So either um, you had uh, hopes at one point, or you had made plans, or you felt that you had another option. I'm seeing here that either you're feeling like you don't have any options, or you're feeling hopeless, or you're lacking direction in terms of your love life. It's kind of like um, maybe you have gone on on the dating sites. Maybe you have uh, tried connecting with multiple partners, or maybe in your own relationship you're you're not really seeing potential. You're not seeing a pathway forward. Um, so it's going to be important that uh, you do realize that you do have options. You're you know, I feel like you're striving, you're, what you'd like to do is to continue going, but at the same time, you're feeling hopeless. So which is it? Are you feeling hopeless and continuing to move forward? That means you're not listening to your intuition, which is kind of reflected in the Wheel of Fortune reverse. It's kind of saying you keep trying to push for something to survive or to happen or to cling on to something, but it's kind of putting you in a position where um, you aren't uh, looking at the whole picture or you haven't put yourself out into the world. Uh, you know, I always tell women, men are really good at this, cast a large net and you'll bring back lots of fish. So if you aren't casting a wide enough net, you're not going to maybe bring back as many options as you like. Now it could be that someone has taken an option off the table for you and now you feel completely hopeless. Like, what am I going to do with myself? I, I just, um, I'm, I'm just sitting here and no one's paying attention to me and I'm just grumpy now. Um, it kind of feels like you are clinging on to something that is hopeless here. You know it's over. You, you know, now you're ready to let these swords fall out. And you really do. All right, especially with the Six of Swords here in reverse, this is saying that um, you can't uh, you can't cling on to the past. You've got to start moving forward, and it happens. You have to heal from whatever this was. You have to let go of this pain, and uh, you know, see a new day. There's going to be a dawn, a new dawn, and a new day for you. But be careful of not, uh, but, but be careful of clinging on to something if you are in a relationship that you feel is over and, uh, you know, not uh, looking at the options that are in front of you. Because some of you have already decided for yourselves that things are going to be hopeless and, and that's that. And that's really not the case. Um, yes, maybe t this is not a great month for you to jump into something new, but it doesn't mean that you can't. Uh, you know, uh, do some research, 
get on the internet, whatever. Um, make some plans for yourself. Um, start uh, believing that you do have options and that you aren't hopeless. Um, because certainly you're, you're just going to attract more of that energy back into your life um, if you continue to believe that about yourself or your situation. In your environment, I have the Ace of Cups in reverse. This is also how your significant other or the person you think about the most may be viewing you or dealing with you. So I am seeing a rejection here, a rejection of something beautiful which would have been an offer of unconditional love. The Ace of Cups represents uh, the seed of love. It's the Holy Grail. It's the chalice. Um, a sacred gift, a sacred offering. I do feel that someone had offered you something and either you turned them down, Virgo, or they turned you down. But this is what is going on in your environment. This is how people are viewing you or dealing with you. And it looks like you're either focused on clinging on to something that's over or there really is uh, something serious happening in a relationship where it really feels like there's nothing left. It feels like all the emotions are gone and both of you need to start over, okay, or renew vows or go off, separate, <laughs> get yourselves together separately and um, start understanding your own value, your own self-worth, because something has been lost here. It feels, uh, you know, I see that you're feeling wounded and hurt and hopeless, and it feels like your partner or in your environment, there's something going on where someone is either rejecting the love that you have, you have in your heart, uh, the, the offer of love or that's how they're viewing you or dealing with you which means that maybe you're rejecting them somehow and they feel numb inside okay they feel there is nothing left in your hopes and fears you have justice in reverse okay your fear may be around a divorce your fear may be of uh, litigation or a uh, a settlement not in your favor it's also saying that someone here and this again is a fear may be doing something unfair or unjust or putting their needs before the other person's um, and so there's an imbalance here okay and major arcana this is the karma this is a card of karma so your fear may have to do with um, the kind of karma that you're creating in a relationship, the negative karma that's coming about because of something that you did in the past or something that is happening currently. All right. So please just apply it to your situation. If it doesn't resonate, then justice in reverse is pretty serious. Um, it can indicate, you know, something having to do with legal agreements, the law, divorce, separation, um, split, and uh, an unbalanced relationship. Your outcome is the star in reverse, the sign of Aquarius. Okay, so this is a pessimistic energy, and some of you are failing to see the, cla the, the glass as half full. You're only seeing it half empty. And because of that, it kind of taints your whole vision of the future. And in order to sort of turn this card upright, I mean, this there are a lot of major arcanas in your reading. First of all, um, I'm, I think it's telling, it's basically telling me that you feel uh, subverted by the forces that you're being subjected to this month. And it's going to be really important for you to stay grounded and to believe in yourself and believe in your self-worth and believe that you are lovable and that you deserve love Virgo no matter what happened in the past no matter what you think you did no matter if you're hurting or you are unable to move on from someone 
You have to believe that you're lovable and that you're worthy of love in order to attract love into your life, in order to keep love in your life. All right. I am going to move into your oracle reading because we're at uh, the 20 some minute mark here. And I'm asking for a guidance message for my Virgos that may be watching. Spirit, do you have a message for a Virgo? Please help guide them on their high spiritual path in love and in light. What does Virgo need to know? Please help guide them. Sacred Union. Okay, that is card 19. I was just drawn to this card. Alright, so as I said, this is an extended message. If you don't want to stick around for the whole message, at least stay for the, the poem and the first paragraph, as this message is going to tie your whole reading together and also provide some spiritual guidance for you moving forward, Virgo. Only the oneness of love and the lover is eternal. Surrender your heart into this union, for all else in this world is momentary. Rumi. Stupefied with bliss, I become without thought. There is no grief in that loss. I gladly surrender my intelligence in favor of this mindlessness. It is ecstasy, rapture. The sweetness of the union so sacred overwhelms my senses. The lover and the beloved are my world. Nothing else exists except this love, this unity of divine masculine and feminine, and the fresh new universe that shall be born from their sacred conjoining. It happens even now, between my body and my spirit, and in yours and in his over there, and that woman passing by all creation in sacred rapturous embrace so shocking and wild this frenzy of loving delight without limits let us be swept away my beloved in the passionate loving that sur that renders duality into one and tips the mind into empty ecstasy you lucky lucky angel you are to be blessed with sacred union this union is of the lover and the beloved the masculine and the feminine. That which appears to be opposite will no longer appear to be so. There is a coming together that is destined and divine. You are to be swept up in a wave of such love. This oracle comes to you as a portent, a sign of that which is to come, and also as a confirmation of your spiritual journey thus far. You have been working to integrate masculine and feminine energies within. Oh, perhaps you have not used those words, but you have been attempting to find the balance between living a surrendered life and leading from the heart, and then knowing when to take the initiative to set something in motion, when to put your body, mind, and soul into getting your shoulder behind something to push. You have been working hard to surrender attachment to plans and how you think things should go. Instead, you have intended to show it up for what it is, to seek out the genius of life through unconditional acceptance instead of judging and fearing, resisting what is as though it were a big mistake, perhaps caused by ignorance within. No, you do not seek to hide from love anymore. You have been learning step by step how to embrace it and allow it to embrace you. What a journey you are taking, beautiful, lucky angel. So your confirmation is thus. You are growing. You are evolving. You are making genuine shifts in consciousness that are allowing you to change the way you are in the world, to become freer, more loving, wilder, more divine. The divine has been seducing you with love and beauty, 
And now in your surrendered state, you are seducing the divine. You are calling such passionate devotion to your cause, such clever and capable assistance, such graceful intervention. The divine cannot resist your beauty. So keep going with that sacred surrender. Keep believing in the inner healing path you are traveling with such success. Accept this confirmation and acknowledgement close to your heart and keep traveling along your path of love. Keep this knowledge in your heart. You are meeting your beloved. What could be more exciting? The sign coming to you with this oracle is that of great love bestowed by the, by the hand of grace. What this means is there is destiny at play in matters of the heart. There is heart healing and a letting go of past obstructions, suffering, or misunderstandings. You could say, in a way, that the great cosmic matchmaker has taken up your cause. If you are already in a relationship, expect that there will be healing of that relationship in whatever way needed. You may have no sense of how it is going to play out. It may result in a deepening of commitment to your lover, but it will certainly result in a deepening of your own commitment to love. If you are open to attracting a new and significant relationship into your life, perhaps a life partner, soul friend, or other supporter of your life journey, then the divine is hearing your call and is answering. Let go of your grip. Do not hold on to a particular person, to a particular fear or fantasy. Instead, open your arms as if expecting your lover to run straight into them. For what could be more perfect than the divinely sanctioned relationship entering into your life? It will move you. It is likely through romance, but it could be through soul-satisfying partnership the soul for whom you have been waiting, so your life path and heart-inspired work can continue to develop. It could be through the presence of a child or even a coming together of your own inner masculine and feminine so that you finally have a clear sense of your purpose in life and the means through which to take action on it. Even if that action is to surrender yet again, this oracle also comes with a particular piece of guidance for you, dear Virgo. No matter what has been, what has succeeded, and what has appeared to fail, what has been loved and what has been lost, there is only one truth that will prevail in your life, without failure, without exception, and that is love. Do not stand back from it. Do not put yourself aside. Turn down your eyes and pretend you cannot be seen by the world. Be bold. Claim the love that is your divine birthright and know that sacred union is yours, destined in the heavens and blessed by the great beloved. Sacred Honoring Ritual Place one hand on your heart and the other outstretched before you, as if to place it on the heart of another. Say aloud, through the grace of Rumi, who loves me unconditionally, I call upon my true beloved now to be at one with my heart purpose. Through divine grace, our sacred union is now sanctioned and blessed. The love in my life swells to overflowing, and I do not try to contain it. I am satisfied to be washed away in bliss and I serve the great beloved in this divine romance, offering my heart to the one great love through which all other love emanates. I am love. I am united, heaven and earth, conjoined in passionate devotion to the great beloved. Love fills my life in all the ways I need, and I am graced by divine blessing, so rich. Thank you. So be it. Place both hands on your heart and rest for as long as feels good for you. When you are ready, simply open your eyes, place your hands in prayer position briefly, and then on your head. You have finished your sacred honoring ritual. 
What a gorgeous, gorgeous message, Virgo, for all of you Virgos out there watching. Many blessings to you.